March 1, 2013, Friday, March 1, new calendar month of the bull run. The top end of that resistance on the Dow is right up there. One of the things I would like to be very key Pacific on is the 10-week simple moving average. And within the calendar bull run, when we have those corrections, you know, every time you know, we came all the way down here, 13,800, this blue line is a 10-week simple moving average. Each time, the dips have been bought by these weekly wicks right here. Every time that we come down, kaboom, the bull comes in, tries to buy the dip, and up they go. And we're right back up here in an area of overbought, period. So what I would like to tell people is that once again, we are above the 14,000 mark, but price volatility is going to be here. And as we start to move through the month or the calendar month of March, we will see where the upside volatility and the downside volatility increase in price. So the bull gets a good time to the upside, but the bear, they seem to come back in and get their good times too. They both do. We are both bull and bear, meaning that we're market makers, so we're not titled bull or bear like the rest of the retail public is. But this is where we got that support level, and they've been buying the dip so far. And I'm saying once again, just like when we dropped all the way down here to 13,800, it came right back, and that's the part of the volatility. You sell down in that weekly, and you come right back up in that weekly, make a, low, a higher high, a blow-off one. They're trying to get it back up to those areas where it's going to have a lot of challenges, uh, MMTs. Now, that's on the Dow. Let's take a look at the S&P 500. They all have the same story. Uh, this is the bull run on the S&P 500. This is a weekly. Uh, we said that we were going to come down and test the 10-week moving average on the S&P when we were at 1530. We said it specifically because it was overbought. Now, I am going to have to inform everyone that the dip buying was the best sell down for the bear, and then the bull came right back up. We're market makers here. So basically, when we look at the interpretation of what the public is doing and they're buying sell programs or program trading and high frequency trading technologies, is, is that they remain. The bull was very strong where we had to have a correction from 1530 down here to these lows of 1485. That's where we said the S&P was going to go in the short term. And we've come right back up here. We haven't broke that high yet. And you can see the 10-week moving average is where that bull stepping in to buy and go long. And they test them like they're supposed to. And I will tell people that going forward in the calendar of March 2013, as we get through this coming week of Monday and the following week, which will be a double week of the month, so we're about halfway in the middle, the price volatility in both directions down start, and they come right back up in bull moves. One of the things that I want to make very, very clear on the S&P 500 is, is that that 10-week simple moving average is where we came down to in the S&P and on the Dow we came down here as well. So when I go back to the S&P you can see the 10-week moving average and it's right here and they're sitting on it. When you look at the Dow, the Dow never quite tested its 10-week. The S&P did. So Every bull rally has these pullbacks and price volatility is going to increase forward looking. There's going to be a lot of volatility that both for the bull and both for the bear. Once again, selling into the rallies is the way to go. 
as far as the NASDAQ composite? Well, the NASDAQ composite, it too, they all have the very same 10-week moving average, and it's been rising, and every time it dips below it, particularly that two-day good sell-off here, they came right back in up toward the highs. It hasn't broke the highs yet, unlike the S&P has not broke its highs yet. So what I want everyone to understand is how to trade the long side off of the bottom and the short side when they go up and they roll over in the indexes. NASDAQ 100 is very complete. It's an index like the S&P. It's called the NASDAQ 100. It came down and tested its 40-week, and it tested it. That's a 40-weekly moving average. It undercut the uh, NASDAQ 100, got very nice drop, as we said it would. 2780 down to slightly above the 2680 but the most important thing that I want to point out to the MMTs here is that 40 week moving average was 2689 the 20 week moving average on that index here is 2685 and 2683 is the 50 week they came straight up off of that bottom in that bull run bam that is the weekly market cap we will go through the training and if any public people that are watching the video have any questions want to get involved in any of our programs send us an email